Hi, are you a surgeon who likes using absorbable sutures? Of course you are, and I bet you love using absorbable sutures because what's not to love? You do your stitching and then you can forget all about it because the sutures look after themselves and they go away by themselves. But here's the thing. Do you know how many days the absorbable suture you have used will actually give your tissues the wound support it requires? And equally importantly, do you know how many days the suture material will hang around in the tissues? causing an inflammatory reaction, scarring, and an increased risk of infection until the sutures are completely resorbed. I'm Sanjay Majumda. I'm a plastic surgery consultant from the UK. And let's have a look at some of the most commonly used absorbable sutures in the UK and look at some numbers. Let's start with Vicryl Rapide. Now, Vicryl Rapide is uh, a great favorite amongst many surgeons. Well, Vicryl Rapide will support your wound for up to 10 days. After 10 days, Vicryl Rapide is not strong enough to support your tissue. However, Vicryl Rapide will take up to 42 days until it's completely resolved. Vicryl Rapide is not uncommonly used by many surgeons for closure of wounds on the hand and on children's faces. 10 days for me isn't long enough for wound support on a hand and 42 days is way too long for suture material to be hanging around in a child's face. I'm not a fan of using Vicryl Repeat for these indications, but that's my personal opinion. Next up is Vicryl. Vicryl gives wound support for up to 30 days, plenty of time for tissues to heal. However, Vicryl does tend to hang around for 55 to 70 days and because it's a braided suture, this has that increased risk of tissue reaction, scarring and increased risk of infection compared to monofilaments. Now, monocryl like PDS is a monofilament, so much less tissue reaction, less scarring and less risk of infection compared to braided sutures. However, because the knotting is not as secure, most surgeons tend to use more throws when knotting a monofilament suture. And because of this, there's more suture material left in the wound. And also monofilament sutures have somewhat of a rigid end, which can be somewhat irritating or even painful for the patient. So the first monofilament we'll look at is monocryl. Monocryl will give you tissue support for up to 20 days, which is plenty long enough for the subcuticle in the skin, but not long enough for tendon repair. Monocryl will, however, hang around for up to 120 days. Finally, PDS2. PDS2 gives you wound support for up to 60 days. PDS2 has been used for tendon repairs, and this is absolutely fine for that. However, it takes up to 180 to 230 days if it gets completely resorbed. There you go, some interesting information for the most commonly used absorbable sutures in the UK. We summarize that information into this table. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Medicine in a Nutshell.